there's the pirate. <laughs> Nine hundred dollars. Think I'll pass. Look at all the old license plates. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> oh, and there's an upstairs. I have no idea if there's anything I need, but we'll see what the universe provides for me. Look at this phone. Huh? That's so cool. I have no idea how that works. signs back here. Oh, wow. <laughs> Looks like badges. Part of a skeleton. <laughs> oh, here's a full skeleton. <laughs> oh, gumball machine, car upside down. Look at some of this wood bowls. Oh, an old Ronald McDonald stuff toy. Model for Star Trek. Look at these wooden bowls. Oh, that's nice. All right, we will go upstairs later. Ooh, that's pretty. Creamer and sugar. Okay. Virgin Mary. Look at these purses. Oh, a fox. Oh, she's nice. I don't see it. Oh, there's the price. Sixteen dollars. Bad. Look at those. I think it's sad when you see parents family photos abandoned. Family photos. Scary 
like a mannequin. Picture like that. Kind of macabre type of looking stuff here. Oh, look at all these photos. Oh, family photos, just. Wow. Oh, I think that's a drawing. Look at all these life magazines. Look at this piece of art. Isn't that cool? Oh, I like that. Pretty. Huh, a porpoise. Rider, never seen it, just horses. Oh, look at them. Lettuce and carrot picture. That's cool. I've never seen one of those before. Doris Day. 30% off. Look at the ceiling. That cool all that tin. <laughs> oh, look at these. Look at this stove unit. Oh. Wow. Pink. Oh, that's a neat thing. Oh, pretty. It's cabinet, I think, that goes with that set. Oh, and look at this table. I like the cats. Huh? Teddy bear mirror. All the albums. Isn't that beautiful? And that piece. Oh, look at the old sewing machine. Oh. Duck picture. 30? It's probably not bad. You know, when I thrift, I'm I don't pay attention to names. I just thrift what I like. Oh, I have a set of these I got at Goodwill for like five bucks. And they went 60. Of course, these, and my head is the stand too. These are beautiful black ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Wow. I think I have four. Oh, I like the pheasant. Mm. Ooh, that's pretty green. Corn. My cousin collects the corn where I think her mom had it and she inherited her mom's, if I'm not mistaken. All right, we're going to go to the other end and go upstairs. Well, we found my... Scarves are two ninety nine. Oh my gosh! And ties, hats, purses. Nice. Oh, 
Look at these brooches. Wow. Earrings, nice hat box. Oh, look at this. $19.99. Oh, it's got a set. Oh, beads. Here's another set. This is the individual. That's real fur. Windows. It's pretty. Heavy brocade. Long dress. <sighs> We've kept with these hats. Look at these hats. Shower cap. Bonnet. Oh, pretty. $9.99. Knife holder. Ooh, I think around the corner is more persons. Oh, binocular set. Some of the purses don't have prices. Most of them do. It's an aggravating when they don't. Oh, look at the. Really like this one. Isn't that pretty? So I just don't like the handle, personally. Oh, that's nice. I know these are. I know these are expensive. These. Oh, I like that. Seven. Look at this one. Several alligator. Oh. Wow, these are really nice and popular. Sixty nine and the aprons.
What do we have under here? That's in good condition. 24. That's not bad. My mom and dad had these colors growing up. Red. And the blue. Mushrooms with the egg. Oh, a whole set. Wow, look at that. Oh, and down here is a soup terrain. Wow. Large four season mushroom set for $45. So they're all priced differently not to get oh and look at that down here. I'm not a mushroom person but oh look the stuff goes in the dark. That fitting wow. Isn't that is beautiful. Oh I like swan milk glass. <gasps> Holly Hobby And if it's not Holly Hobby there was another of cups. Oh, look at the pink. I have one like this. I got it at the thrift store. It's broken, but the um, this part here is hollow. I put my rings on it. Oh, look at the swans and the kitty cats. I love swans. windows. Love to have that in my studio. Oh, dogwood platter. set doesn't even look like it's been touched. Steamer trunk. It's a good price. It's got the things. Lifts up. So besides that, and those always break. Oh gosh, it's so many sewing machines. Those are um, called ribbon, not the yarn, thread. Just look at that view.
of these kind of tables. My granny had a yellow one. I think it was yellow. For the whole set. That's a humongous. I mean, compared, look where my hand is compared to that. <sighs> Baby blocks. And the deer and the doe. grandfather. I don't know, his eyes kind of look like Chris Christopherson. I don't know who this is. I can't. Nathan Redford Forrest. Ox yoke. Cow yoke. Donkey. Not sure. I don't know if somebody's family member. I'm afraid that's. What'll happen to some of my family photos? Oh, look at this gentleman. kind of slopes. <laughs> Look at the little rabbit purse. safe looking back here.
deer heads on the floor and couch. Oh, now that's a smart idea. They should reincorporate that into furniture nowadays. There are some things that they really should keep making no matter what the year is. And this right here, I wonder if it will fit this. Probably not. Oh, nope, but you can move it. Nice. Nice process. Isn't that beautiful? Tapestry. 36. This is more like what I got. 37. Her fingers were more like that instead of that close, so I could put my rings on it. Look at this trunk. Oh, it is for sale. $125? That can't be right. Wow. I could fit it in my car though. This is one I need to buy a truck. <laughs> of course, I don't have a place for it in my house, but that's never stopped me before. Vets the store, American Veterans Stuff Store. There used to be one um, by the zoo, and they closed that one down. And this is the only one besides the one in Maryville. And this usually has great stuff, but their prices have changed. And when they moved one out west Knoxville, their prices have been higher anyway. But let's go see what they've got. See, that's how it should be. 
Ini belum sepi. finished Another quilt we finished, probably the same family. Probably grandmother passed away and nobody quilts and so we donated it. Do not know how to quilt. It's not something that ever interests me. My aunt quilts and her work is beautiful. That's pretty. That's pretty yellow. just stands out and sits by me. And I've got a couple things I need to finish project-wise before. Before I buy any more, but you know, you never know what you find. Find something I just can't live without. Pillows galore. $1.98. That's pretty. Dye that a certain color. Mm. pair of shoes like this in high school. When I would wear high heels like that. Let's see. Oh,
Hey everybody, so I went thrifting in Harriman, Tennessee, and I bought a few things. I stopped at Serpilative Vintage and Antique Mall. Uh, there you go. And um, they have a thing in October called The Historic Hauntings of Harriman. And um, the people at the vintage mall said that it's like a guided tour. And so hopefully it is between the 20th and the 21st. And hopefully I plan on going. So this is what I bought there. They have um, a t-shirt that said, Hooray for Harriman. And it's got all this really cute stuff on it. Games, ping pong, Labor Day Festival. I didn't know anything about it so um, Labor Day coming up hopefully we'll be able to go to that too then I bought ah, sorry <laughs> Hold on. Um, two grab bags of just jewelry and as you can tell I have not opened it this one was $3.99 and this one was $5.99. So let's open it and see what we have. And let me get my trusty old glasses here. <laughs> Ooh, I love grab bags like this. Um, you never know what you have or don't have. Things take apart. That's how I get a lot of um, jewelry of my rings and everything. Ooh. And bits and pieces of stuff. So, like, this is just beads. Ooh. Hmm, looks like it's broken, though. Whoops. Um, but, let's see, it's a clip-on. Oh, it's not even an earring. I'm not sure. Might have been one of those um, for your cardigans. Let's see what I can do with that. I want a clip-on earring. Don't know if I can... I can get that off and, and hopefully it has a partner and make it into a pierced. Here. And cut some more, open up. It's like grab bags. I love grab bags and stuff like that. It's like Christmas or an Amazon package. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> what did I order? I can't remember. And see a bracelet that is broken and had something. Let's see if we can. I don't know if we can fix that. If I can take this apart, maybe make a hair bow, a hair barrette. Don't think it would. It hard, might be kind of hard, but oh, we can make maybe make, make it a necklace. That's hard to see. Oh my. Broken necklace, but oh yeah, that can be fixed. That can be made into a necklace again. More bits and pieces. Some letters. I think it's a. I'm not sure what those. Oh, and here's the. Oh, another part. <sighs> oh, look at this necklace. Uh oh. Ah. Look at that. So that. Well, that part is broken. Let's see if we can find it and fix that. Maybe make it a bracelet. I don't know. We'll play around with it. Oh, and here's some more pieces to the first little. Oh, this is in shape. Um, necklace. The other one. Look at this. Look at that bracelet. Oh, it's missing. Several of them. Don't know if they're in here. But we'll see if I can take a part like this right here and maybe make it into earrings see this part right here that's if I can take that apart uh oh just fell out well where did it go maybe make these neck earrings by themselves or ring see that's what I do and, and you know it's somebody loved this somebody wore this a lot I don't know I will tell you, when I go thrifting and stuff, I'm not as educated as some other people in knowing all this stuff, what years. 
This is most likely a 40, a 50s, maybe 60s because of this right here, this kind of clasp. I'm not educated. I need to read more. I buy what I think is pretty, what I like. I have, I'm not a person who does brands, um, but you can tell this was well loved. Um, but if I can, you know, maybe somehow I have a soldering gun and I also have a Dremel tool. Take this part right here to down here. Maybe make an earring or a necklace, bracelet, back into another bracelet, um, ring. Just like when they're falling apart, like this one is. You can restring it. And that's, you know, restring it. And reuse it. And recycle it. And upcycle it. That was broken off from something. And then just rhinestones. Here's another one of the partner to this one. Um, but it doesn't have a back. So if I can get the back off of this, maybe add some rhinestones. And those would be pretty earrings. Or ring. Don't see the partner to this yet, so I'm not sure. You know. Oh, oh here's another one. So if I have enough all of them, you know, glue them back into the bracelet. I'll do that. Uh, oh, old-fashioned twist kind. Oops. Oh, now this is, see this? Oops. See this? This is for a sweater. You put it here and here. At first I thought it was a tie clip. My dad had a whole bunch of tie clips, but they usually had um, stick pins on the back. Let's see this. The claw. I'm almost certain that's for a cardigan. Oh, but see the plastic. Oh, no. It's been taped. It's been taped. So I don't know. We won't untape it yet. Just a whole bunch of little odds and ends. and Oh, look at this dainty bracelet. Totally intact. Ah, fingers are in the way, sorry. Oh, here's the... Uh-oh. Here is another one. Don't know, I don't think those are... At first I thought those were initials. See, can you see it? It's just flowers. I don't think it would be a tie. I'm almost certain, especially with the alligator, ow, oh, that hurts. <laughs> the alligator clip type of thing or lobster claw, that is for a cardigan. Very fancy. I've never seen one with something in the middle. Oh, and here's the earring, but part of the pearls are missing. I've got pearls to replace it. Clip. And, oh, wow. Look at that one. Isn't that beautiful? And clip. Now, if it doesn't have a partner, which I'm almost at the end of the bag, I don't see a partner. Either a brooch or a ring. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, see, it's missing two stones right here. So if I can find some stones fit. Oh, just kind of play around with it. Um, not sure that was something. can make something into it. <laughs> uh, this is most likely from the 80s. The reason that, that clips, clips are still popular. Well, you still, even to this day, like if you go to Cato, it's a, I'm not sure where Cato is throughout the United States, but here in the South, um, they have clips still. And I don't know, I'm sure I could take it off and right here put it so it's a stud. Yeah. Oh, another one, but rhinestones are missing. But then maybe I can take the rhinestones out. 
this was this was a necklace that was broken. I saved these for other necklaces. And let's see, just bits and pieces, bits and bobs. Oh goodness, a plastic ring. <laughs> Oh, no partner. It's been enameled. I could repaint it. Oh, another piece of this big necklace. So definitely can redo that. Maj podge of everything. So, oh, here's oh missing. Well, maybe not. That's another clip. I'm not sure you can't Let's see if you can get it focused. Oh, no, nope, that's small on purpose. Well, because, and the reason I think it's on purpose is you see how this is, maybe it'll focus. See how it's got the little dents around it? I don't know. Oh, there's that. Okay. I don't know if I want to, it's on there really good. Make it. A clip to a cardigan. I don't know. We'll play around with it. Let's see what else we got here. Part of a another bracelet. Ooh, that's pretty green. That's take those apart. Make those earrings. Wouldn't those be pretty? Look at that. And then put those on, like hanging it like that. Play around with it not a bad size or I could put just um, posts right there I don't know I like that green anything else oh yep uh, just a random and this is a post ah fingers are in the way all has all its to feel come in focus rhinestones can make that a little ring so, there's that. Oh. Oh, it came in a bag, so I'll put it in the bag. So, that'll be fun. Playing around, taking it apart, see what other things I have. Uh oh. See, but you know, this one, when you I look at it again, I just, I don't know why I didn't notice before, but that snap on that's like this. Um, so that's fairly modern, not unless they had it in the 80s. I can't remember. But anyway, we can do something with that. Taking part, taking away. I just love bits and bobs and stuff like that. I'm trying to be better, especially in the winter time, um, to keep my hands busy and, and do stuff like that. Sometimes it's really bad about, oh, just come home and veg out, which. You know, it's not the best thing to do, so I'll keep those in that little bag until I, uh, sorry. All right, now, this one looks more like necklaces and whole pieces, but we'll see what, we'll see what we see. Let's see here. Don't want to cut anything I shouldn't. <laughs> that make me cry, so, but, uh. I love going and thrifting and, and finding stuff like this, and it was a really, it was two stories, and um, just, and Harriman's a cute little town. I have driven past Harriman. I've never been actually in the city of Harriman. You drive to um, past Harriman going to Nashville from Knoxville. It's out west, and so I will probably go there again, hopefully, like say, in October. I will put that on my calendar. And go to that thing. There we go. Oh goodness, I see. I said lots of oh, them. Oh my. In piece. Uh oh. Ah. Okay. Ah. Okay. So, oh my. So this is. This had been. One piece, I'll leave it 
and that you can tell you is a necklace because of this right here. Bracelet. Oh, she's got this. She had this for 15. <laughs> this bracelet for 15. This to me is very much 50s. Now, oh, 40s. I, again, I need to educate myself, but you know, I, I do what I like. I don't do because, oh, it's a but that's, those are nice. I love those kind of bracelets. Oh, and here's another bracelet. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on. I was wrong. It's a necklace. It's a necklace. It's tangled up. Oh, my goodness. Let's get you untangled and not break anybody. How did you get managed? How, oh. Goodness gracious. How did it get in there? There's the... Okay. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look. I don't see a name. Don't see a name on it. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I'll straighten that out better. But look at that. And if it's too short, but I... It's missing the, it's got a string on it from probably where she had it priced. It's missing right here where you hook it, and that's easily fixed. And, you know, I guess if I was trying to keep it authentic, but I don't, <laughs> you know, some of the authentic ones, um, you can find the hooks for them, but look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at that. You could even wear it like this. <laughs> um, just put a hook on it. I think I've talked about my great aunt Nola. Um, well, all my aunts that, you know, um, they, you know, they said when well, stuff like this would break, especially during the war, during this, um, World War II, you fix things. You didn't just oh, well, it's not authentic anymore. So if the woman had owned this, she was still alive and broke it off, she would have fixed it with, you know, something from the 70s, 80s or whatever, or even now. So again, makes you, I don't know, when I see stuff like this, I'm glad I have it, but at the same time, it's like their family didn't want to keep it. Might have been a son, could have been a daughter-in-law. Oh, that's pretty definitely broken probably could fix it Let's see. oh I wonder if those are real pearls there's a way to test for real pearls you take them and you do this and you're supposed to feel like salty or grain I have to Google it for certain, but but then again, in the 50s, um, my mom has a beautiful set of pearls. Not sure if I still have them or if my sister got them, um, but they weren't real. But they were they were real enough to them. And here's another set of pearls. Now, see this you can tell is broken from the thing and fixable, and it's got the other end of it but see how the hooks were the hooks were just really simple so those are easy to get snagged on stuff I'm not sure about maybe breaking it yeah kind of could probably break it and would be really easy to come undone especially if the boy was being kind of fresh you know anyway <laughs> um so I would again it might take away the autistic I can't say that word authenticity of it but um, I uh, I would want it to stay on better than just a little hook like that and then this black one ooh, 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 falling apart see the little hooks right here and this and the, ooh, that's pretty that was well-loved. And this is all costume jewelry, but, you know, back in the 
40s and 50s, that's why a lot of women just work. Okay, look what this person had done. She <laughs> probably did it so it wouldn't unravel. I don't know if it was. Isn't that pretty? That's salvageable. This blue. Oh my gosh. Look at this blue. Isn't that beautiful? See how loose it is right there. Let's see if that comes in focus. So that's oh, and here's just the thing. Huh. Oh, here's some more. Oh, that's attached. Another that's probably goes with that other pearl. Let's see here. I can't tell. <laughs> that's terrible. This is the other end of the black that was coming apart. Another part of it. So, fixable. Oh, and other pieces. I will put that back in the bag. And then look at this green. And it's lost its other end of the partners. But look at that. Oh, and look at that. Man. That's just the clasp. That's just the clasp to hold it. And look, see, I don't know if you see these. Uh, you push it, push, pinch it in. See if you can go focus. See this little tab? Use my pinky. See that little tab right there? Yeah. You punch it, press it in. There's another end of it. And it comes apart like that. And those are really good. They stay in really well. It's just gotten that feels like fishing line or um, dental floss. Most likely fishing line. I wonder if that's what they use. But look. So it was a bracelet most likely the way how small it is. Man, I could just almost, it kind of doesn't go with it. I mean, not even here, but it's pretty. So I will fix that up. And then the last one is this big bag of pearls. I Pearls, you know, whether they're real pearls or, you know, costume jewelry pearls. Pearls just make an outfit. Pearls are, um. Is something I think you should ha everybody should have. You know, it doesn't matter what your age is. Yep, it's fell apart right there. And uh, well, there's a couple different sets in here, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, oh, this is a pin. Oh, look at that. I love pins. I can't. Flowers? Yeah, it goes this way. Yeah, because the pin is at the top. My grandmother, Ollie, her name was Ollie Armilda. Yeah. And Ollie, not short for Olivia. It was Ollie. Anyway, um, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the dust from the beads. Every suit she wore and every jacket she, ha she had, whether it was a coat jacket or, um, oh, it's got a little piece of jewelry from the, Stuck in there with the pearls. Eeks. Anyway, I'll take that out later. She had a brooch on there, and I do the same thing. And she never wore pants. She always wore a dress, a skirt, suit. And it kind of is sad to me that they don't make suits as much. They make separates. And then when they do make suits, they're expensive. Ooh, and look. Oh, my gosh. It's a dragonfly. I love dragonflies. Dragonflies and swans. Look at that. And I think it's got all its... No, it's missing a stone. Let's see if I can... I'll be able to find a little stone to fit in that. So, it's things like this I'm going to put up on my website. So, like, if it doesn't have a stone and I can't replace it, of course, I'll, you know, put... Replaced a stone or whatever. But I will obviously have it at a discounted price. But look at that. Look at that. So, ah! Oh, anyway... Put those back in the little bag before I lose everything. Oh, I'm going to have fun playing 
Don't see anything. Oh, I was wrong. I saw another one. Five ninety nine for all this. For all of this. For this bag. Oh, look at this one. Oh, it's missing one. Little heart. I'm sure I've got something I can feel in that. Little heart brooch. Just put it right here. Dress up. I like dressing up. I also like, I'm like, I should be a, a Gemini instead of a, an Aquarian because I either like dressing up, you know, all heads, glamorous, classic, or hit the broomstick, you know, earrings like this and dress and just, <laughs> let's see, I think, I don't see anything else in the bag, but for $5.99, all, all of this, eh, I'm going to fall apart and lose all this, and these, and so, and then this, um, going to try to see if I can make that into a bracelet again. Or if I make it into a necklace, take this part off right here. And now I'm thinking more of a necklace. What do you guys think? Um, anyway, so then I stopped at um, American Veterans. Uh, hold on, let me put these away before I lose everything. And I um. I don't know, when when I go on vacation or just I know I'm going to go thrifting and stuff like that, I change out my wallet. Well, the little wallet I have now is this one. It's really small. It just has, you know, a couple of the slot for money and little, it, it's small, but it doesn't carry everything. So I stopped at Amvets and for $2.89, I got this Liz and Company. Woohoo. Um, wallet, but what's nice is it got, has this. So at, when you know an evening bag going out, I can just change that, and I can keep all my. And I like the zipper part, so like, get your big cash because you know I'm a multimillionaire. <laughs> anyway, but uh, so. Yeah, that's what I got thrifting. And um, glad you guys could come along. And if you like, subscribe. Hit the like button and subscribe and follow me. And hopefully we'll go on more adventures like this. So I will talk to you all later. Bye.